Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, have, okay, you have Anna, who is New Zealand, but has an English, I mean, her accent's crazy. Yeah. And it switches depending upon who she's talking to. <laughs> kind of weird. And her American accent is perfect. Yeah, and then you have, uh, you know, uh, yeah, Stephen English, Brian Australian, Alex yeah. Swedish. And then you have a couple, you have uh, Carrie Price, who's really from the South, yeah. and me and Nelson yeah. from the South. There's somebody else, too, that is not. Routine is, is, is just from, the, from Nevada. But yeah, it's it's really interesting. We, like when the when the show when the season ends, like we never see each other because everybody just goes off all over the country, you know. I mean, all over the world. And, um, but yeah, I think people do a good job. I, Ryan's accent's great. I think his accent's really oh, yeah. good. Um, but yeah, I mean, everybody everybody's definitely doing doing a different accent than their own, pretty much. Yeah. Have you waited for Bubba from the books to pop? Oh my! I know. <laughs> You know, everybody, every, like, when we're, when we're at Comic-Con, every year there's somebody that asks that, and the whole crowd is just like, yeah! Like, freaking out, they want Bubba. And I don't know, I think, um, because Bubba's the one who's, who's Elvis, right? Yeah. And I think the answer that Alan always gives is it's, it's just going to be, it's too good of a character. All you would do is make it worse. Because it would be so hard to get an Elvis impersonator that was... Like half brain dead and half a lot. I mean, it would just be too tough. I think that's the answer they give. So I don't know if it's going to happen. I have a feeling it might not. I'm not. You know, I'm not sure about that because because uh, um, I I read the books like four years ago. <laughs> I can I can't even remember because it's all like an uh, amount like mixed up in my head what's what's real and what isn't. But um, I bet you I bet you Deborah. Oh no, because Deborah Ann is not even in the book. Right, right. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he was talking about Terrence Malick, right? And sort of defending him for not being a, a, a pan. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a total trip because uh, the first year we went to Comic-Con, right? Which is the biggest uh, of these in the country. And literally, we were selling our show. We were like, you, got, you should watch our show, you know? <laughs> you know? Uh, and nobody knew who we were, and nobody cared. And, and then the second year, it was different. Like, it was definitely different, and people were way into it. And, and last year, it was like we had to have major security because it was just, you know, there, there was, it was such a mob. So it, it's been fun to see the progression of it. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, I mean, I think it's true. It is two different kind of talents, like being an actor and then going out and, and going on tour, like, you know, to, that, that you have to do for movies or, you know, or coming to something like this, it is definitely different. I mean, I kind of enjoy coming out and seeing, you know, the people, and the people that really watch the show, and the real fans. And uh, it's fun to get the energy and like, you know, really see how people feel. Um, so I, I enjoy, I kind of enjoy it. Uh, you know, I kind of enjoy that aspect. For me, I enjoy that aspect. But I know there's some people in the cast that aren't as comfortable, you know, do, you know doing that. Mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, no, I mean I could see. I mean probably not that you have. If you haven't read it, then I have. For me, um, they're definitely witches, you know. Um, and uh, I have a new love interest that you know. That we're going to explore the shape shifting mythology, which is really cool because we haven't really done that yet. Um, just kind of continuing to explore the rules. Of, what that is, and, and I meet a little shapeshifter community. But uh, there, you know, it for me, there's some, there's some really, really wacky, cool stuff that happens for me that that's been 
probably the funnest stuff I've gotten to do. So I, I've had a really fun season. And uh, it's, it, it's great. It's going to be, you know, the same town, the same main characters, but like a whole new slew, like a new villain and, and new, tons of new side char characters. It's, you know, it's just like, it's just like the two and three were. So it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Dexter, yeah. Episode two. Got killed. <laughs> I got wrapped up in saran wrap. Yeah. It was awesome. I was naked. Yeah. I was naked. I mean, come on. Crazy. Yeah. Outside of your favorite role? Wow. Um, well, uh, you know, I, it would probably be a play. I did a play on Broadway. I actually got nominated for a Tony Award, but I did a play. Yeah. Theater has no respect. Um, yeah, I did this play called Ah Wilderness. It's a Eugene, Eugene O'Neill play. And uh, it was awesome. It was at Lincoln Center on Broadway, and, and I got to play this part that was insane. It was great. That would probably be my second to this. Oh, five, five minutes? Okay, a couple more questions. Yeah, oh, yeah, in red, right there. Wait, who? Oh, Fiona Shaw, yes, yes. I, I, Fiona Shaw has a huge part this year. And she's amazing, she's an incredible, incredible actress. I personally haven't gotten any to do anything with her. I've, I've you know, you know, I've seen her and spoken with her a little bit, but, um, She's got a massive part. She's incredible. I'm just psyched, psyched about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, I don't think my mom watches the show. My dad watches it, and then my mom pretends. Like, it, half the family cannot watch the show. It's a little too risque. And the other half is psyched. So I have both, both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Yeah, I did a movie last, uh, the last break called Guns, Girls, and Gambling, and um, Christian Slater, Gary Oldman being. Oh, Gary Oldman! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but Dane Cook and I played these two corrupt sheriffs, and it was awesome. Actually, that, I love that part too. It was awesome. Got to carry around a shotgun. And carrying around a shotgun is the best. <laughs> Good. Yeah, one more. <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, actually, no, believe it or not. Um, the, 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 the reason I think that uh, because of that is because uh, none of us, we don't work every single day in one space and get on each other's nerves, you know? We, because these this episodes are so long and there's so many storylines, you have breaks. So, you know, you're pretty much psyched every time you go to work and, and also you're, you know, you know, happy to be with whoever, whoever's there. But it's, it's honestly, you know, I'm not just, just talking good about the show, but there, there really, there's, there are no divas on the show. Like, Alan Ball would not even, I mean, you know, no. No. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, you guys.